In particle physics, a baryon is a type of composite subatomic particle which contains an odd number of valence quarks at least three. Baryons belong to the hadron family of particles, which are the quark-based particles. They are also classified as fermions, i.e., they have half-integer spin. The name, baryon, comes from the Greek word for heavy, berries berries, because, at the time of their naming, most known elementary particles had lower masses than the baryons. Each baryon has a corresponding antiparticle antibaryon where their corresponding antiquarks replace quarks. For example, a proton is made of two up quarks and one down quark, and its corresponding antiparticle, the antiproton, is made of two up antiquarks and one down antiquark. As quark-based particles, baryons participate in the strong interaction, which is mediated by particles known as gluons. The most familiar baryons are protons and neutrons, both of which contain three quarks, and for this reason these particles are sometimes described as triquarks. These particles make up most of the mass of the visible matter in the universe, as well as forming the components of the nucleus of every atom. Electrons the other major component of the atom are members of a different family of particles, known as leptons, which do not interact via the strong force. Exotic baryons containing five quarks known as pentaquarks have also been discovered and studied. Background. Baryons are strongly interacting fermions, that is, they are acted on by the strong nuclear force and are described by Fermi-Dirac statistics, which apply to all particles obeying the Pauli exclusion principle. This is in contrast to the bosons, which do not obey the exclusion principle. Baryons, along with mesons, are hadrons, particles composed of quarks. Quarks have baryon numbers of b. One third and antiquarks have baryon numbers of b minus one third. The term baryon usually refers to triquarks, baryons made of three quarks b. Topic one third plus one third plus one third one. Other exotic baryons have been proposed, such as pentaquarks, baryons made of four quarks and one antiquark. B. Topic one third plus one third plus one third plus one third minus one third. One, but their existence is not generally accepted. The particle physics community as a whole did not view their existence as likely in 2006, and in 2008, considered evidence to be overwhelmingly against the existence of the reported pentaquarks. However, in July 2015, the LHCb experiment observed two resonances consistent with pentaquark states in the lambda 0 bj psi k minus p decay, with a combined statistical significance of 15 sigma. In theory, heptaquarks, five quarks, two antiquarks, nonaquarks, six quarks, three antiquarks, etc., could also exist. Topic: <laughs> Baryonic matter. Nearly all matter that may be encountered or experienced in everyday life is baryonic matter, which includes atoms of any sort, and provides them with the property of mass. Non-baryonic matter, as implied by the name, is any sort of matter that is not composed primarily of baryons. This might include neutrinos and free electrons, dark matter, supersymmetric particles, axions, and black holes. The very existence of baryons is also a significant issue in cosmology because it is assumed that the Big Bang produced a state with equal amounts of baryons and antibaryons. The process by which baryons came to outnumber their antiparticles is called baryogenesis. <laughs> baryogenesis Experiments are consistent with the number of quarks in the universe being a constant and, to be more specific, the number of baryons being a constant. In technical language, the total baryon number appears to be conserved. Within the prevailing standard model of particle physics, the number of baryons may change in multiples of three due to the action of sphalerons, although this is rare and has not been observed under experiment. 
Some grand unified theories of particle physics also predict that a single proton can decay, changing the baryon number by one, however, this has not yet been observed under experiment. The excess of baryons over antibaryons in the present universe is thought to be due to non-conservation of baryon number in the very early universe, though this is not well understood. Properties Isospin and charge The concept of isospin was first proposed by Werner Heisenberg in 1932 to explain the similarities between protons and neutrons under the strong interaction. Although they had different electric charges, their masses were so similar that physicists believed they were the same particle. The different electric charges were explained as being the result of some unknown excitation similar to spin. This unknown excitation was later dubbed isospin by Eugene Wigner in 1937. This belief lasted until Murray Gell-Mann proposed the quark model in 1964, containing originally only the U, D, and S quarks. The success of the isospin model is now understood to be the result of the similar masses of U and D quarks. Since U and D quarks have similar masses, particles made of the same number then also have similar masses. The exact specific U and D quark composition determines the charge, as U quarks carry charge plus two-thirds while D quarks carry charge minus one-third. For example, the four deltas all have different charges delta plus plus U, delta plus UUD, delta zero UD, delta minus DDD, but have similar masses approximately 1,232 MeV, C2 as they are each made of a combination of three U and D quarks. Under the isospin model, they were considered to be a single particle in different charged states. The mathematics of isospin was modeled after that of spin. Isospin projections varied in increments of one just like those of spin, and to each projection was associated a charged state. Since the delta particle had four charged states, it was said to be of isospin I equals three halves. Its charged states Delta plus plus, delta plus, delta zero, and delta minus, corresponded to the isospin projections I3 equals plus three halves, I3. Topic. Plus one half, I3. Minus one half, and I3. Topic. Minus three halves, respectively. Another example is the nucleon particle. As there were two nucleon charged states, it was said to be of isospin one half. The positive nucleon n plus proton was identified with I three plus one half, and the neutral nucleon n zero neutron with I three equals minus one half. It was later noted that the isospin projections were related to the up and down quark content of particles by the relation I 3 equals 1 2 n u minus n u minus n d minus n d Display style I underscore mathem three equals FRAC one two and underscore mathem U and underscore mathem bar U and underscore mathem D and underscore mathem bar D where the ends are the number of up and down quarks and antiquarks. In the isospin picture, the four deltas and the two nucleons were thought to be the different states of two particles. However, in the quark model, deltas are different states of nucleons the n++ or n- are forbidden by Pauli's exclusion principle. Isospin, although conveying an inaccurate picture of things, is still used to classify baryons, leading to unnatural and often confusing nomenclature. <laughs> Flavor quantum numbers The strangeness flavor quantum number s not to be confused with spin was noticed to go up and down along with particle mass. The higher the mass, the lower the strangeness the more s quarks. 
Particles could be described with isospin projections related to charge and strangeness mass see the UDS octet and decouplet figures on the right. As other quarks were discovered, new quantum numbers were made to have similar description of UDC and UDB octets and decouplets. Since only the U and D mass are similar, this description of particle mass and charge in terms of isospin and flavor quantum numbers works well only for octet and decouplet made of one U, one D, and one other quark, and breaks down for the other octets and decouplets for example, UCB octet and decouplet. If the quarks all had the same mass, their behavior would be called symmetric, as they would all behave in the same way to the strong interaction. Since quarks do not have the same mass, they do not interact in the same way exactly like an electron placed in an electric field will accelerate more than a proton placed in the same field because of its lighter mass, and the symmetry is said to be broken. It was noted that charge Q was related to the isospin projection I3, the baryon number B, and flavor quantum numbers S, C, B, T by the gelman nishijima formula Q equals I 3 plus 1 2 B plus S plus C plus B plus T Display style Q equals I underscore mathem three plus FRAC one two B plus S plus C plus B carrot prime plus T where S, C, B, and T represent the strangeness, charm, bottomness and topness flavor quantum numbers, respectively. They are related to the number of strange, charm, bottom, and top quarks and antiquark according to the relations S equals minus N S minus N S Display style s equals n underscore mathrm s n underscore mathrm bar s c equals plus n c minus n c display style c equals plus n underscore mathrm c n underscore mathrm bar c b equals minus n B minus N B display style B caret prime equals N underscore mathrm B N underscore mathrm bar B T equals plus N T minus N T display style t equals plus n underscore mathrm t n underscore mathrm bar t meaning that the gel man nishijima formula is equivalent to the expression of charge in terms of quark content q equals 2 3 n u minus n u plus n c Minus N C plus N T minus N T minus one three N D minus N D plus N S minus N S plus N B minus N B Display style Q equals FRAC two three and underscore mathem U and underscore mathem bar U plus and underscore mathem C and underscore mathem bar C plus and underscore mathem T and underscore mathem bar T FRAC one three and underscore mathem D and underscore mathem bar D plus and underscore mathem S and underscore mathem bar S plus and underscore mathem B and underscore mathem bar B Topic. Spin, orbital angular momentum, and total angular momentum Spin quantum number S is a vector quantity that represents the intrinsic angular momentum of a particle. 
It comes in increments of one half h, pronounced h bar. The h is often dropped because it is the fundamental unit of spin, and it is implied that spin one means spin one h. In some systems of natural units, h is chosen to be one, and therefore does not appear anywhere. Quarks are fermionic particles of spin one half s equals one half. Because spin projections vary in increments of 1 that is 1 h, a single quark has a spin vector of length 1 half, and has two spin projections s z equals plus 1 half and s z equals minus 1 half. Two quarks can have their spins aligned, in which case the two spin vectors add to make a vector of length s equals 1 and three spin projections s z. Plus 1, s z. 0, and s z. equals minus 1. If two quarks have unaligned spins, the spin vectors add up to make a vector of length s equals 0 and has only one spin projection s z. equals 0, etc. Since baryons are made of three quarks, their spin vectors can add to make a vector of length s equals 3 halves, which has four spin projections s z. Topic. Plus 3 halves, s z. Plus one half S Z. Topic minus one half and S Z. Minus three halves or a vector of length S. Topic one half with two spin projections S Z. Plus one half and S Z. Topic. Minus one half. There is another quantity of angular momentum called the orbital angular momentum, azimuthal quantum number L, that comes in increments of one h, which represent the angular moment due to quarks orbiting around each other. The total angular momentum, total angular momentum quantum number j, of a particle is therefore the combination of intrinsic angular momentum, spin, and orbital angular momentum. It can take any value from j. L minus s to j equals L plus s in increments of one. Particle physicists are most interested in baryons with no orbital angular momentum L equals zero, as they correspond to ground states, states of minimal energy. Therefore, the two groups of baryons most studied are the s equals one half L. Topic zero and s. 3 halves l topic 0 which corresponds to j 1 half plus and j equals 3 halves plus respectively although they are not the only ones it is also possible to obtain j equals 3 halves plus particles from s topic 1 half and l 2, as well as s. Topic: 3 halves and l. 2. This phenomenon of having multiple particles in the same total angular momentum configuration is called degeneracy. How to distinguish between these degenerate baryons is an active area of research in baryon spectroscopy. Topic. Parity If the universe were reflected in a mirror, most of the laws of physics would be identical. Things would behave the same way regardless of what we call left and what we call right. This concept of mirror reflection is called intrinsic parity, or simply parity. P. Gravity, the electromagnetic force, and the strong interaction all behave in the same way regardless of whether or not the universe is reflected in a mirror, and thus are said to conserve parity p symmetry. However, the weak interaction does distinguish left from right, a phenomenon called parity violation, p -violation. 
Based on this, if the wave function for each particle in more precise terms, the quantum field for each particle type were simultaneously mirror reversed, then the new set of wave functions would perfectly satisfy the laws of physics apart from the weak interaction. It turns out that this is not quite true. For the equations to be satisfied, the wave functions of certain types of particles have to be multiplied by minus 1 in addition to being mirror reversed. Such particle types are said to have negative or odd parity p. Topic: minus 1 or alternatively p. While the other particles are said to have positive or even parity p. Topic: plus 1 or alternatively p. Plus. For baryons, the parity is related to the orbital angular momentum by the relation p equals minus 1 l display style p equals minus 1 caret l as a consequence baryons with no orbital angular momentum l topic 0 all have even parity p plus Topic. Nomenclature Baryons are classified into groups according to their isospin I values and quark Q content. There are six groups of baryons nucleon N, delta, delta, lambda, lambda, sigma, sigma, xi, xi and omega, omega. The rules for classification are defined by the particle data group. These rules consider the up U, down D, and strange S quarks to be light and the charm C, bottom B, and top T quarks to be heavy. The rules cover all the particles that can be made from three of each of the six quarks, even though baryons made of top quarks are not expected to exist because of the top quarks' short lifetime. The rules do not cover pentaquarks. Baryons with three U and or D quarks are ends I. Topic one half or delta S I three halves baryons with two U and or D quarks are lambda S I Topic zero or sigma S I one if the third quark is heavy, its identity is given by a subscript. Baryons with one U or D quark are Xi S I equals one half. One or two subscripts are used if one or both of the remaining quarks are heavy. Baryons with no U or D quarks are omega S I equals zero, and subscripts indicate any heavy quark content. Baryons that decay strongly have their masses as part of their names. For example, sigma zero does not decay strongly, but delta plus plus twelve thirty two does. It is also a widespread but not universal practice to follow some additional rules when distinguishing between some states that would otherwise have the same symbol. Baryons in total angular momentum j. Topic three halves configuration that have the same symbols as their j. One half counterparts are denoted by an asterisk, asterisk. Two baryons can be made of three different quarks in J equals one half configuration. In this case, a prime is used to distinguish between them. Exception: When two of the three quarks are one up and one down quark, one baryon is dubbed lambda while the other is dubbed sigma. Quarks carry a charge, so knowing the charge of a particle indirectly gives the quark content. For example, the rules above say that a lambda plus c contains a c quark and some combination of two u and or d quarks. The c quark has a charge of q. Topic plus two thirds. Therefore, the other two must be a u quark q. Plus two thirds and a d quark q. Topic minus one third to have the correct total charge Q plus one <laughs> 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 
Topic. See also. Eightfold Way. List of baryons. Meson. Timeline of particle discoveries. Equals equals notes. <laughs>